Hi, Waukegan. I'm Nicholas Alexakis, Director of Communications and Chief of Staff for Waukegan Schools. Thank you for joining us for 60 and 60 for the week of December 5th. This week, we have details on additional strategic planning meetings, volunteer opportunities for parents, and more. We're starting this week with holiday show information. Schools district-wide continue to host their holiday and winter shows and concerts. These are fun shows that showcase the amazing talents of our students while getting everyone in that holiday spirit. A full list of shows can be found on our district's website. There's still time to share your thoughts and ideas on how our district can refine our long-term strategic plan during our strategic plan town hall meetings. On Monday, December 12th, we will host our final general session beginning at 3.30 p.m. at Abbott Middle School on Washington Street. Following winter break, there will be additional sessions planned at various locations in the community. Be on the lookout for those dates and times. And we want to thank everyone who has already participated in one of our sessions. Earlier this week, our district hosted its monthly parent-teacher advisory committee meeting where parents have the chance to share their opinions and advise the Board of Education on matters regarding student discipline and behavior. The committee is seeking additional parent volunteers to sit on the committee and give input on these important topics. Our parent-teacher advisory committee meets the second Thursday of each month through the end of the school year. Meetings are held at the Welcome Center, but parents can also participate virtually through Zoom. The next PTAC meeting will be on January 12th. And finally this week, our district recently sent out information regarding our district's extreme weather procedures. With winter weather nearly upon us, we encourage parents to familiarize themselves with these procedures as it includes important information regarding remote learning, emergency closures, abbreviated schedules, and more. Additional information can be found on our website. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in each week for all the news and events happening in Waukegan Public Schools.